So you're thinking about buying a home in Dallas, Texas, but you're looking around going, where, what? Where is everybody? Where is the, all the buyers? Is this a ghost town? Where is Waldo? <laughs> well, that's exactly what it may seem like in this market. They are saying that buyers have absolutely dried up, left the market. They're gone out of here. They're burnt out, fatigued, tired of everything that's going on with the current housing market. However, teams like ours, we're still helping people every single day and we're still getting calls every single day. So what's the big difference between people that we're working with and all of the noise you hear out there in the market as far as it's a complete ghost town? We can't even find Waldo. Who knows, where where is Waldo? I'm not really sure. But in this video, that's exactly what we're gonna talk about is what's going on here in the Dallas market. Um, right now, what are we going to look at for the future? What can you think about if you're in the position where you're thinking about buying a home, whether you're relocating here or you're local, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that you have to really truly understand what's going on. And if you're not sure, you know, that's why we always ask people to just give us a call or shoot us a text, send us an email because we just have to have a conversation. But let's not waste any more time, especially it's a little spooky out there these days, right? So I uh, don't want to wait around too long. We're going to get into it. Right now. All right, well, if this is your first time to the channel and you're thinking, who is this crazy person? Well, you know, I had to change it up a little bit, but my name is Levi, my partner Travis, the team and I, you know, we get calls, text, emails every single day from people making their move in the Dallas area and we love it. And so the deal is, is that uh, if this is your first time to the channel, I don't normally always dress this way, but feel free to subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications if you wanna be the first to learn about the current market here in Dallas. So the main thing is, is like, let's just get into the data and the information that's coming out. First of all, uh, I was really uh, intrigued by this article that just came out in the Dallas Morning News and it says, Dallas is still leading the nation in commercial property deals. Look at this. There have been almost $33 billion worth of Dallas area real estate transactions so far in 2022. Now that's pretty significant because if you look a little bit further down the article, here's what it says. Dallas in the first nine months of this year, more than $32.8 billion uh, in Dallas area property sales were recorded 10% gain over over the same period last year. That's pretty significant. Then you look at this, Dallas surpassed second ranked Los Angeles, which only had 23.8 billion in transactions and even over Atlanta. And this brings us to the count of transactions in Dallas is nearly 20% above the average number seen in the five years prior to the pandemic. So whenever you see a lot of commercial investment, what do you think is going to follow that? It's going to be housing and housing investment and, and people making that move. Think about it. Over 21 corporations moved in the last year to Texas alone, mostly in the Dallas area, making Dallas now the number one state with Fortune 500 companies. And some of those uh, have been big news, especially like Hewlett Packard, Tesla, Oracle, Caterpillar, just to name a few. They are moving thousands of people here. And with that influx of people, of course, they're going to need housing. So we're not seeing a huge drop at all. What we're seeing in uh, a lot of videos out there, but also just seeing in the market all across the country, which brings us to the next article. Okay. So look at this. Now property owners hope new convention center will boost downtown Dallas, sleepy South side. So this is something else. Look at this beautiful new convention center. They're going to be building. It's a 1.4 or $1.5 billion project that they plan to start here in uh, the next year and a half. And you can see right in the downtown area, it's going to take the place of the current convention center. So that's just one example of all of that investment that's coming here into Dallas. Not only with the corporations moving here, they're building, like Uber just put in 3,000 jobs over here and they're building new buildings. They're taking over older buildings. And when you have that type of activity, the housing's going to follow there. And of course, we're seeing a record number of out-of-state people moving to the Texas area because it is such a freedom-friendly, tax-friendly, and business-friendly environment. Actually, according to several recent studies, Texas has been ranked in the top 10 and several times number one as 
the most business friendly environment. So whenever that happens, there is a lot coming to follow with the housing and we're getting these calls and texts every single day. For example, I was talking to a young gentleman named Michael who works with Southwest Airlines and he called in just two days ago and he's getting transferred with Southwest Airlines and he initiated that. But ideally what he said is he can absolutely no longer afford a home in California. And Austin was even overpriced as well. But Dallas still has some of the most affordable housing in the United States. And whenever you couple that with all of the good things that we have going on in the Dallas market, there's still a lot of people making their move here. And so he was willing to make that move, transfer with his company Southwest all the way to Dallas, despite what's going on in the housing market. And I asked him straight up, you know, Michael, are you concerned about interest rates? And he said, no, I'm not. I'm not worried about that because I was curious. What would he say? And he said, I'm not worried about it. I know we can refinance later down the road. They are expecting rates to drop by early next year. Now, again, we can't speculate on anything and it has been some ups and downs, but if you see a rate drop, you know, you have an opportunity after six months of being in your home to refinance, but you have to understand if that's going to be the best decision for you and your family at that time. So the main thing is, is that people are making moves here every single day. And what we always say is that we only have to help you find one house. You know, despite what's going on in the market, even the last two years, when everyone said it was an absolute seller's market and there was no deals to be found and you had to overbid and you had to overpay, that wasn't the case with all of our clients. We didn't lose deals. We didn't let anybody overpay. And right now, the last five deals we've secured in the last week, we've had clients walk into equity in their homes. The appraisal actually came back over what they purchased the home. So they're walking into instant equity. And so that brings me actually to the next article you'll see right here, housing's stunning downfall in one chart. Prices have plunged in 51 of these 60 cities and there's much further to fall. But look at this, San Jose over 10%, San Francisco 8.5%, Seattle 8.2%, Denver 5.8%, San Diego 5.2% and the list goes on and on and on. But what you don't see in there is Dallas. At the bottom of that list is 2.9%. So there hasn't been a significant price drop. Now you may look on Zillow or Realtor or these uh, online platforms and you may see price reductions. What that is coming from is people overpricing their home, uh, a little over ambitious, wanting to get more, thinking that it's still the market that it was over six to 12 months ago. And that's just not the case anymore. So they're bringing them down, but here's the deal. That brings me over to this next piece of information. Look at the data from our September market report. This is in Dallas County. Okay, we're gonna cover two counties here, but Dallas County, even in September, when everyone said still the market crashed out in August, we still had a price increase in the Dallas area of over 10.2%. Now, active listings are up, yes, closed sales are down, but the prices are still rising. We still only have 1.8 months worth of inventory, which we know a healthy market is closer to six months of inventory. But days on market is still 32. Think about this. 32 days on market may seem like a lifetime right now, but that's just not the case. The reality is, is that even 30 days on market is still way low compared to what it used to be. Normally 90, 120, 180 days was closer to days on market. And we have been absolutely spoiled over the last two years, uh, thinking that everything should sell within three to four days, or I should get multiple offers within the first weekend. That's just not gonna happen anymore. But prices are still on the increase, especially here in the Dallas Area. Now look at this. We look at Collin County. Collin County is where Frisco, Plano, Allen, McKinney, Prosper, all of the areas where we're seeing a lot of people wanting to make the move to because of the school systems and everything's much newer there, new construction, new commercial buildings. So there's a lot of influx of people wanting to go to that North Dallas area. And here we're seeing still in September, prices increased almost 20%. And look at this, active listings up 93%, but still 3,000 listings in that whole Collin County area is not a lot, okay? So that may look high on the percentage increase, but it doesn't mean that there's still enough inventory and the inventory is still at 2.3 months. And again, a healthy market is closer to six months. And that's whenever we know if it gets longer than that, that's whenever they say it turns into a buyer's market. But right now, the several deals that we've been able to lock up with our clients have been 
been amazing because sellers right now are willing to negotiate. There's deals out there to be had. We're seeing things like, um, you know, title insurance and home warranties and things that sellers did not want to pay for over the last couple of years are being paid by the sellers. Again, typically in the real estate transaction, the seller was always happy to absorb that cost. Also, if you're thinking about new construction and you're concerned about a rate increase or you know the home's gonna be finished over the next two, three, or four months and you're concerned about a rate increase, well, we actually worked with a client the other day too that got $28,000 in concessions from the builder to buy down that rate. And if you haven't inquired about 2-1 buy downs or even 3-2-1 buy downs or any type of buy down on the rate, that is something you want to inquire about. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, Email, just reach out. We have to understand your situation and what's going on in your world. Now, you may think I would never call anybody in a Waldo costume, that's for sure. But hey, it's, it's close to Halloween, all right? So even though this information is always going to be relevant, I just had to throw it out there, all right? Just had to do it. So please forgive me on the uh, nod. It's all right. We like to have fun around here. Uh, but the main thing is, is that that's what we have to understand. Your situation, what's important to you and your family. And ideally, when people make that move, they're looking to stay here for three to five years on average. That's whenever the typical family moves now this day and age. That's down to three to five years. That's plenty of time. Think about this. Also walking into instant equity, as we mentioned before, as most of our clients are doing right now, that's giving you plenty of buffer. If for some odd reason in the next few months, prices were to come down a little bit more, you have that equity buffer. So that's something to keep in mind. But ultimately, this is where we have to talk through your situation. What's going on? Is it the right time for you and your family? And we can only do that in individually with every single person because every single person has a different situation. At the same time, we can find a deal in any market. We've done it time and time again. We've already helped over 175 families this year alone on the relocation side. So that's coming in from out of state. That's not even counting our local buyers and sellers. That's pretty significant. Think about it. Moving from out of state really stresses people out. All right. It really does. And that's a big decision and a big move. But we will navigate that 100 percent along with you and, and take care of you every step of the way. So the main thing is, is that if this is something that is on the mind, and let me share one more thing with you as well. You'll see here, uh, this was just an interesting article that says, which Dallas zip code had the 10 most 10-year uh, price growth? Talking about Bishop Arts and Kessler Park. We've got a full vlog tour on the Bishop Arts area, one of my favorite areas in Dallas. This area has appreciated 270%, okay, over the last 10 years. So of course, it would have been a great time to buy 10 years ago, but there's a a lot of development in that area. So that's what we're seeing. That's an older historic neighborhood. They're revitalizing that. There's so much revitalization going on elsewhere in Dallas. On top of that, with the construction of all of the new office buildings because of the corporations moving in here, as well as people just relocating and working remotely and working from home now, they want to live in an environment that is more friendly to them. And that's freedom friendly, tax friendly, business friendly. All of that environment is created here in the Texas area. And in the North Dallas, area, one of the best economies. On top of that, you're centrally located. So if you are a business traveler, I mean, it's going to be a so much easier to get to the West Coast, the East Coast, Chicago, DC, Seattle. It doesn't matter anywhere you want to go in the country. You're within a couple of hours on a flight. It really makes Dallas a very attractive area for a lot of people, which is why they're making the moves here over and over and over again. So that's just something that I wanted to discuss with you today is that we're still seeing the price appreciation here in the Dallas market. You know, Dallas has has always been one of the most stable markets. Now, have prices fluctuated and, and increased quite a bit over the last year to two years? Yes, but we are seeing normalizing come into play now, but we're still seeing the price appreciation here in the Dallas market because of the ideal environment it's creating for people and businesses, and ultimately, that's how economies thrive. And Dallas is the top job market, one of the top job markets, number three in one recent study, number one in a couple of other different studies, depends on how they measure it, but with in the top one to three of the top job markets in the country. So very overall friendly environment. The main thing is, is that if you're thinking about making a move, just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We're happy to talk through that situation with you. And again, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, feel free to reach out. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. And until next time, well, we hope to show you around town. And don't worry, we'll be dressed normal next time.